Hello guys, this is Mike from itprogramming.org. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about writing shorts, ints, and long longs. I'm actually probably not going to write long long, but I'll I'll show you when it you could use it. Uh, by default, you're going to usually use int, but I want to show you the most efficient way to program. So the point of having a short int is if you know that your value and that it's signed and you know that your value will never exceed 32,767 or go below negative 32,768 you could use short because that will only uh, allocate that much memory to that particular variable and you know that you'll have more space in your memory to deal with other things so that's where efficiency comes into play but we're in in these examples we're writing very small programs so allocating an extra byte to the normal int is not going to make a big difference but just keep that in mind that is one reason that we have these different types of storage sizes so when you write int uh, come on when you write int um, I'm just going to call this number equals something let's just say 200 we're putting this value into its uh, memory location that stores ints so that memory location doesn't just take up what 200 is it places 200 in there but it gives it enough space to take in what we had talked about in the previous tutorial which would be um, this value right here it, it has four billion some uh, place values so that's how much memory that takes up when you use this uh, int declaration okay so we could also if we knew for sure that we weren't going over a specific number we could say short int and that's how we would be more um, efficient but I'm just going to talk about ints so let's say that we have int number and let's say I also had int X okay, and let's have that equivalent to I don't know two. We could say we can declare another int, and we can say x or let's say int y equals, and we can we can make y equal number plus x, okay, and then we can print out y, c out, and just y semicolon. All right, let's run and build this. I'm gonna get 202, and that's what we wanted. Um, this isn't a very good program, but it does work, and that's we are storing y as an int, but we just allocated a bunch of memory to something that we probably could have just used a short for and saved memory. But this isn't a life-threatening program where we need to make sure every bit of memory is the most efficient so that's fine but let me show you what I showed you in the last tutorial and we're gonna say int um, let's just call this x for right now int x equals that's 2,000 2 million 2 billion alright and we'll say int y equals 2 billion just go all the way to the end and we wanna say int z equals x plus y and let's print out to this console z so there goes our problem we we tried to store a value which is uh, 2 billion plus 2 billion or x plus y into this integer space z but it didn't store the space so what it did was it added it up and did a bunch of funky stuff with it because we didn't have enough space and that is basically what an int does is it allocates the certain amount of space 2 to the 30 second power worth of space and you gotta be conscious of that because if you're doing critical math equations it can go over and then you don't have an accurate number so just be aware of that that's what an int is in the next tutorial we'll talk about chars and how they're related to ints thank you guys for watching